Hello, bad team. Today we are learning about Isaac and Amblick. Now, there was a female, f female, I guess. It, it's in the Bible. If y'all want to look it up, it's F A M I N E. In the land beside the previous female. In Abraham's time, Isaac went to Amblick, king of the Palestine. And Gerar. The Lord appeared to Isaac and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land where I tell you to live. Stay in the land for a while. I will be with you and will bless you. For to you and your descendants, I will give all those land and will confirm the oath I swear to your father. Abraham, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the skies and will give them all those lands. And through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed because Abraham obeyed me and did everything I require of him. Keep my command, my degree, and my instructions to Isaac, State, and Gerar. When the man of the palace asked him about his wife, he said, She is my sister, because he was afraid to say. She is my wife. She thought the man of this palace might kill me on account of rebuke, because she is beautiful. And man, my hair gets in my eyes. When Isaac had been there a long time, Amalot, king of the Palestine, looked down from a window and saw Isaac caressing me. What means? Like, a little gentle brush on your hair or something like that. So Amalot summoned Isaac and said, She's really your wife. Why did you say she's my sister? Isaac answered him, because I thought I might lose my life on account of her. Then Abelash said, What is this you have done to us? One of the men might well have slept with your wife, and you will have brought guilt upon us. So Amelach gave order to all the people, Anyone who harms this man or his wife shall surely be put to death. Isaac planted crops in the land in the same year. Reap. So he had a whole lot what he pulled out of the ground by the hundredfold because the Lord blessed him. The man became rich and his wealth continued to grow until he became very wealthy. He had so many flocks and herds and servants that the Palestines or Palestines, yeah, I think that's Palestines, evaded him. So all the wills that his father's servant had. So in the time of his father Abraham, the Palestines stop up filling them with earth. Then Abel said to Isaac, move away from us. You have become too powerful for us. So Isaac moved away from there and he, he camped. So I guess he camped out. In the valley of Gorororororor, where he said, Isaac reopened the well that had been dug in time of his father Abraham, which the Palestinians had stopped up for after Abraham died. He gave them the same name his father had given them. Isaac's servant dug in the valley and discovered a well of fresh water there, but the herder of Gorororor's crow. So if they fight what what there was what those of Isaac said. The water is ours, so he named the wall Ezek because they dispute with him. Then they dug another well. But they curl over that one also. So he named it Sotana. He moved on from there and dug another well. No one crawl over it. He named it Ruggabuba. Saying now the Lord has given us room. And we will flourish in the land.
from there, he went up to the Bosahapapu, and that night the Lord appeared to him and said, I'm God of your father Abraham. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bless you and will increase your number of this sentence. So, like your grandparents to your mother and to you will be descendants. For the sakes of my servant Abraham, Isaac built an altar there called on the name of the Lord. There he pitched his tent, and there he served dug a well. Meanwhile, Amalek had come to him from Gorowit. After his personal advisor and pinnacle, the commander of his force, Isaac, asked him, Then why have you come to me, since you were hostile to me and sent me away? They have answered, We clearly that the Lord was with you, and so we did. said, There ought to be a sworn agreement between us and you. Let us make a treaty with you. That you will do us no harm. This says we did not harm you. But always treat you well. And sit you away peacefully. And now you are blessed by the Lord. Isaac then made a feast for them. And they ate and drank. Early the morning the men were on off to each other. Then Isaac sent them on, sent them on their way. They went away peacefully. That day Isaac's servant come and ho told him. About the well they had dug. They said we found water. He called it Subawu, and to this day the name of the town has been Barsahab. Dexia takes Ezra, blessed when Ezra was 40 years old. He married Joseph, daughter of Bera the Hithi, and also Basement, daughter of Beloha the Hithi. They were a source of grief to Isaac and Rebekah. Then you were, thank you for watching. Sub, like, and share, and I'm out of here.